Everybody says that the Gen Z have less patience and shorter attention span. But I say that Gen Zs are going the right way. We should not wait for decades for one experiment to end and one result to come. That is not the right way to pursue science, especially in life science. And that is why the Gen Zs of today will need different type of jobs in biotech. So this video is to talk about top 10 different types of jobs which Gen Zs will, would like. Number one among them would be artificial intelligence driven drug discovery. Now Gen Z's don't like to wait and that is where they can churn out computational data, they can analyze computational data faster and come to a conclusion. So Gen Z's will like something which is inside the computer but at the same time they don't have to wait for years together to get a result. So that means less patience is good isn't it? And especially for science sometimes yes. The second job which will fit in for you as a Gen Z will be synthetic biology designer using CRISPR to design gene circuits, programmable cells and it's going to be hot in biomanufacturing and climate tech and bio foundries. So you can make a career as a synthetic biology designer. Followed by that, you can become a computational genomics analyst, then bioinformatics product manager, microbiome data scientist, biotech sustainability engineer, CRISPR and gene editing specialist, AI powered diagnostics developer who would analyze uh, the outputs of diagnostics as well. Bio AI prompt engineer, digital clinical trial architect. Now apart from that, Gen Z's will also like the new era of biotech journalism also. So these are the top 10 or 11 jobs which Gen Z's would like. Now the question is, what would you like? Let me know in the comment section. Because I'll make a special video on that particular job role which you like and if most of you comment in the comment section. Now, having said that, there is one caveat which you all should know. Science sometimes does take time. So it's okay if results are going to take years, but not okay if there is a shortcut available or there is a way to shorten it, right? So as, as a Gen Z, start looking at how can you shorten the duration of the experiment, how can you improve the efficiency of experiment, and that is why companies will love you and they'll hire you. So the next era of employing Gen Z is going to be here after... 2025 and that means we have to be ready to give the right jobs to Gen Z's. All the best.